Welcome again to the uh, uh, online toy theater workshop. Um, in case this is the first one you see, uh, know that there was one before this one, uh, talking about how to build build your uh, uh, toy theater out of a, a cereal box. Oh, and to mention again, we are still on Treaty 6 territory. We are all treaty people. And of course, it's the traditional homeland of the Métis as well. All right, today's uh, program is all about props and backdrops. So let's go. So here we have Laura showing us how she makes backdrops or scenes that go at the back of her puppet stage. Here she is making a, uh, well, it's a scene from outdoors. There's a forest and a wood. Now she uh, goes to the internet and cuts out uh, all the pictures that she uses because uh, she doesn't really like drawing. And then she pastes them onto heavier uh, stock, like, uh, well, in this case, they're old file folders. So uh, much much the same as uh, uh, size of or, or weight of cardboard as you find in your, um, in your cereal box. And here she is cutting out pieces. By the way, she's using a glue gun, which is a very cool thing to do because it uh, dries really fast and it's quite strong. And you know, it's just fast and strong. Oh, here's another one she made. It's an interior. And uh, so she has two backdrops. And now she's gonna do something very interesting. She's taking these bamboo skewer, skewers, excuse my language, and she's uh, uh, attaching them to the top. There you go. And uh, so she's doing that for a couple of reasons. One of them is it stiffens up the backdrop so it stays nice and flat. And also you'll notice that the stick sticks out on both ends. That way it'll sit in the top of the box. She'll show you at the end of this. So there she is, she has two of them. She's putting her sticks on, their glue gun. And uh, uh, you don't have to use bamboo skewers uh, that she took out of that package at the beginning. Uh, you can use just about anything. I'm gonna show you that a little bit later. See, so that's where the scenes go, the backdrops go in the top of the box. And when she lowers it down inside, uh, those sticks sort of hold it upright. They sit on the top, it's brilliant, genius. And you can stack a whole bunch of them in there and pull them out as you, as you need to. Oh, and there she's doing a little puppet show with her fingers, nice. So she's pulling it out, she's gonna put her other one in there and uh, she can stack them up, right? She can put about five or six of them in there. Oh, here she's talking about props now. Uh, you probably recognize those, those are from pizza boxes and she's gonna use them as tables in her, in her puppet show. So just a found object that kind of looks like a little table, very cool. She's also gonna show you uh, a little origami uh, paper chair that she made as well. All right. So now she's gonna talk about another kind of a prop. She's made this tree. Again, she's using an old file folder, so a little thicker kind of cardboardy thing rather than paper. Gives it a little bit of stiffness and then she's gonna cut it all out. And I think she has a squirrel, I can't quite tell. She has a squirrel in that little round part uh, living in the tree. I'm just gonna glue that on and there it goes. And she's gonna put a stick on this sucker uh, so that it stiffens it up again, just like she did with the backdrops. And uh, she's gonna use, um, well, there's all kinds of names for it, map tack, et cetera, et cetera, uh, to put on the bottom. You could use plasticine or whatever you like. Um, here she goes uh, to hold it up. So uh, here we go. Put it on the bottom and that'll hold it upright. There you go. So there's a prop of a tree. Here is Danica's toy theater and she's gonna show you the kinds of backdrops she makes. Hers just fit. This is a really good tip she's about to give us. So you put your backdrop in there before you do anything to it. And she's just drawing a pencil line around uh, the edges of it. So she knows that she can't go any higher than that or you won't be able to see whatever it is she's making. And in her case, instead of using printouts from the internet, she's using 
uh, a collage technique. Oh, look at the kind of glue she's using. That's that sort of, um, can't remember what they call it, glue sticks. They're pretty cheap and they work pretty good actually. Last quite a while. And she's making a collage of a scene that she's gonna use as part of her, uh, her puppet play. Let's see, so that looks like maybe a sun or something. Hmm. And uh, you'll notice that she's using pieces that she's already cut out to make her, her toy theater. Good recycler, or Danica. And oh, indeed it is the sun, because that's definitely a cloud. And uh, she's uh, cutting out, uh, oh, it looks like about the top of a palm tree. Looks what she's drawing there. And finally the tree trunk. And then she'll be done. Cool. So there it is, and now she's gonna put it inside. There it is, her backdrop. Now she didn't put the fancy sticks on, but so what, it works. And here she's showing some of the ba other backdrops that she used. Kinda looks like a curtain, that one. And, uh, oh, but there's the, the curtain. Lovely, very nice. So she has a curtain opening at the beginning of her toy theater. Nice. So here's me. I've already made one. Uh, it's that pink thing, and I got a stick sort of shoved in there. And uh, I'm going to do it a little bit differently than uh, uh, than Laura did it to add the stick to the top of her thing. This paper is very thin; it's not cardboardy at all. Uh, and I'm just using an ordinary twig I found out in the alley, and I'm gluing that down. And there we go. What I wanted to show you was is that uh, backdrops—they don't just have to be. You can paste things on them and so on. I'm going to cut things out of this backdrop. Well, I was just there checking to see if it was the right length and so on. And indeed, I had to fold up the bottom of it, which is cool, and now it is. So I'm gonna draw a design in which I'm gonna cut out the pieces that I'm drawing. And I'm making a geometric design because it, it fits uh, the puppet show that, that I made. And uh, a cool thing about cutting things out of your backdrop is that maybe there's, it reveals something in the, in the uh, backdrop behind it. Doesn't really work that way in mine, but, uh, but you get the idea. You could have a, a character's face uh, looking through a window, and then when you pull up the, the, the backdrop, it could be like the outside of a house, for example, and you got a character looking out the window, and when you pull it up, there's the characters standing inside of their room. So there's my pink backdrop doghouse and a dog. I'll explain it all later. And I just brought my, uh, my, one of my characters from my play over to show you looking out the window. Anyway, there you go. That's all for today, kids. Um, tomorrow, we're going to look at building puppets of different kinds um, and a little bit about character development as well. So we'll see you all tomorrow. Thanks so much for uh, tuning in. We'll see you again. Bye.